Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, January 25th, 2024. I pray that today will be a good day for you. I pray that you will seek the Lord today and may his blessing flow in your life. Our reading today comes to us from Psalm 121, reading verses 1 to 8. And it says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. Verse 2, My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Verse 3, He will not suffer thy foot to be moved, he that keepeth thee will not slumber. Verse 4, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Verse 5, The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. Verse 6. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. 7. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. 8 and last says. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. We thank God this morning for his word of encouragement, reminding us that he is there as our keeper. The Lord is the one that watches over Israel or watches over us. And so because we know that he is our help, and that our help comes from God. We can rest in the safety of his pavilion. And so when we go through life and uh, as we go through today and moving forward, let us remember that God is there as our keeper. He is the one that protects and he is the one that provides. And he says that, he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He will keep you steadfast. It says that God does not slumber. He does not sleep. So God doesn't take a break. He doesn't need rest. And so we don't have to worry that he may fall asleep and take his eyes off us. And then evil will just overcome us. No. He is always watching, looking out for you, looking out for me, protecting us from all the evil that surrounds us. He doesn't take vacation. And so we can have that confidence in him and his ability to protect us. And so as we think about this reading today, may we look to him who is able to keep thee. May we continue to trust in him. May we fall at his feet and give him the worship and praise due to his name. When we go out on the road in the mornings, we have no guarantee that we will return back home. And so when we make it back to our homes, we need to give God thanks. In fact, before we leave in the morning, we should ask for his protection. Throughout the day, we should ask him for his protection and we should trust in his ability to protect us. We should ask him to watch over our children, ask him to watch over our family, our spouses, our friends, our neighbors, because the truth is that we don't know what the next moment can bring. And remember that scripture tells us that the devil is about as a roaring lion seeking to devour you, to devour God's people. And so we have to make sure that we are constantly under his protection, under his security, where we can be safe. And so be encouraged. Lift up your eyes, lift up your heads and give God the glory. Magnify his name for sparing your lives throughout the course of the night. 
for watching over you through yesterday up until this point and claim the promise of his protection as you go through the day and into tomorrow as he permits. May God continue to bless and keep you and may you continue to trust in the Lord as he continue to watch over you. Amen.